John 10, verses 1 to 18. Very truly I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore, Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep have not listened to them, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pastors. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees a wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he has a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I and the Good Shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me, I know the Father. I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my Father loves me is that I lay down my life, only to take it up again. No one takes it up from me, but I lay it down for my own accord. I have authority to lay it down, the authority to take it up again. This command I received from my Father. And the Good Shepherd. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching through that video. My name is Michael Weekman and I am a visual arts teacher here at Wisconsin Lutheran High School. I want to connect a couple things visually from what I was trying to do with this work and the message that we see in scripture today. The first is that at the bottom of the work here, you can see there's no space between the figure and the gate. That you cannot sneak by on either side. Now, I as a person have the strong desire that my actions and works would count towards my salvation. That I could somehow enter that gate by my own accord and that I could have control of that. But that's not the message. The message is actually more beautiful than that. The message that says that our actions and works that actually separate us from God into kind of a textured area, a textured turmoil, our actions and works are covered. Now, Christ came to live a perfect life for us. Christ came and brought our sins and iniquities, 
our issues of action to the cross. Christ also rose on that beautiful Easter morning. And that resurrection gives us peace that someday we will rise as well. We will rise from the dead. Now our Good Shepherd has come and through our Good Shepherd we are able to enter that gate. God's blessings on your week this week and I hope that the message of the Good Shepherd is one that can bring you peace and contentment. Have a great week.